Hello, and welcome to the County of San Diego's Watership Protection Program informational video on our HOA resources. This video will introduce you to the variety of resources we have available for HOA managers to support you and the residents in preventing pollution. While I say HOA, this information is also applicable to multifamily properties and mobile home parks. This video will show you a selection of our resources on irrigation runoff prevention, prevention of soil and sediment runoff, structural best management practices, also known as SBMPs, and BMPs for HOA common areas. There are many watersheds in San Diego County. In fact, we all live in a watershed. A watershed is an area of land that drains into a common body of water. Imagine a bathtub. No matter where water falls in the bathtub, it all goes down the drain. A watershed is similar. It collects everything that falls into it and drains into a creek, stream, river, or ocean, which is why we all have to do our part to prevent watershed pollution. We're in this together. Over half of San Diego County residents believe that pollution of our beaches, lakes, and creeks directly affects them and their families. Water runoff from yards, lawns, and gardens is a major contributor to pollution. The water collects pollutants as it runs off and carries them into our storm drains. This water in our storm drains is not treated before it is released into our local creeks, rivers, and oceans. To help all of us do our part to prevent pollution, the County of San Diego Watershed Protection Program has compiled information and resources that we will highlight in this webinar. We have quite a few resources available, so we have curated a binder that is relevant to HOA properties. The binder is full of up-to-date and relevant resources on a variety of topics and in physical and digital formats for easy sharing with your residents. The topics include best management practices regarding irrigation runoff prevention, trash and green waste management, pet waste management, other residential topics such as automotive fluids, fertilizer, and your drainage, common area management, and much more, all with the goal of preventing these pollutants from entering the storm drain system. In the rest of the presentation, I'll walk through some of the topics and best management practices in the binder. If you are interested in receiving a binder, contact the stormwater hotline number 1-888-846 0800 or email us at watersheds at sdcounty.ca.gov. As you saw on the earlier slide, there are many watersheds in San Diego County. Each watershed has its own unique pollutants of concern. For example, the top priority in the San Diego River watershed is preventing bacterial pollution. We have developed flyers specific to each watershed highlighting those pollutants and how to prevent them from entering the storm drain system. I will highlight two watersheds here as an example. First, the San Diego River watershed. This flyer explains that we all live in a watershed and that doing our part to prevent pollution will benefit us all. Use this flyer when you observe trash overflow, pet waste, or do new homeowners get welcome packets? If so, consider including some of these materials as an informational source when new residents have moved in as a way to highlight how we all can do our part to prevent watershed pollution. Here's another example of a watershed flyer. We have one for each watershed. As you can see, each flyer has a customized map highlighting where each city or area is within that watershed. If your community is located in Bonzel, you can point out where Bonzel lies within the San Luis Rey watershed while highlighting some of the BMPs listed in our flyer. Irrigation is a great place to start to prevent storm drain pollution. If your residents over-irrigate, that water can run off their property and carry pollutants like pesticides, fertilizers, pet waste, and more into our storm drain system, which leads to our waterways. In fact, all sources of pollution, including irrigation runoff, are prohibited from leaving property and entering streets and storm drains. Only rainwater is allowed in the streets and storm drains. To help prevent irrigation runoff, this flyer covers the topics of water conservation, such as sprinkler maintenance recommendations, guidelines on when to water, and how to reduce water runoff. Also, we can improve water quality for healthier waterways and healthier communities. 
as an HOA, you may use these resources when there's an increase in your meter reading or water bill, there is any pooling or flooding, or any signs of irrigation runoff on sidewalks and streets, and if you see evidence of patio washing. Even though it's natural, soil and sediment are still considered pollutants and are not allowed in the streets and storm drains. If excess soil gets into our waterways, it can fill in streams or block out sunlight that organisms need to survive. A great way to use this flyer is when you observe any landscape updates that homeowners or yourselves as the HOA are conducting. When a new homeowner has moved in or does your HOA have a monthly newsletter or social media profile? Try integrating these informational flyers each month to encourage good behaviors. If you have an issue with pet waste in your community, we have resources to help. Through our research, we have found that residents primarily value clean feet, clean yards, and clean water. Our pet waste flyers highlight these values as well as BMPs that can be used for pet waste. These flyers are especially useful when you are interacting with new pet owners, have noticeable issues such as pet waste around residences and common areas, or as an educational material at parks and dog runs. Of course you want to minimize trash and litter in your community. These resources will help you talk to your residents about trash and green waste by highlighting the importance of keeping our community clean, as well as explaining how to do so. You can use these flyers when you observe trash overflow, receive any dumping complaints from residents or your municipality, or observe any litter around your community. Not all trash can be placed in curbside bin. Household hazardous waste is important to dispose of properly to protect our storm drain system and waterways. Homeowners may not be aware of how to properly dispose of it. Our flyer explains what types of materials are considered household hazardous waste and how to properly dispose of it. It includes information on drop-off locations in Ramona or El Cajon and the hotline 877 R1EARTH. Residents can call for more information. In this video, we have a limited amount of time to cover the many resources we have available. Some of the additional resources in the binder cover topics such as automotive fluids, fertilizer, pesticides, pools and spas, vehicle washing, and yard drainage BMPs. You may be asking yourself, what is a structural BMP? Well, structural BMPs are facilities that help to prevent pollutants in stormwater runoff from leaving a developed property, entering our storm drains, and impacting our local waterways. All types of structural BMPs require regular inspection and maintenance to ensure that they are operating efficiently. Some residents may have these on their property, but you may also have these in common areas. Our structural BMP flyer can help explain structural BMPs, help identify the structural BMP type, and explain how it needs to be maintained. It is important to remember that property owners are responsible for maintenance activities and annually submitting documentation. These flyers will help you and your residents comply with that requirement. Each structural BMP is unique. We have flyers on the common types you may encounter. These BMPs include detention, vegetative, infiltration, drain inserts, hydrodynamic separators, and more. Now, while we have been mostly talking about things that your residents are responsible for, you as the HOA are also responsible for preventing pollution. We have a collection of materials to help you make sure your staff or contractors you hire are following the best management practices. These topics include general pollution prevention, common area inspections, employee training, building and pavement washing, loading areas and dumpsters, material management and spill response, fire sprinkler management, masonry and cement, recreational areas, painting and coating activities, mobile vehicle washing, portable toilet cleaning. In the next slide, I'll highlight our building and pavement washing flyer as an example of these types of resources available in this section. For more information on any of these topics, please refer to the HOA binder or visit us at our website, 
San Diego County dot gov slash stormwater. Building and pavement washing is a part of many homeowners or HOA's maintenance plans. Best management practice covered within this flyer include planning, setup, and washing. You can use this flyer when you, your maintenance team, contractors, or your residents plan to conduct seasonal washing, a deep cleaning, or when you have new contractors as a tool to ensure all BMPs possible are being employed. Lastly, there are many additional resources that may be of use to your HOA community. Resources such as San Diego County Water District Contact List, Regional Overview Maps, HOA Drought Fact Sheets, Contacts, Tips, as well as more ways to protect our waterways. Thank you for joining us today as we explore some of the many resources the County of San Diego Watershed Protection Program has compiled to help all of us do our part in preventing storm drain pollution. Please visit our site, sandiegocounty.gov slash stormwater to explore all the resources that were highlighted in this presentation. And remember, if you're interested in obtaining an HOA binder, please contact the stormwater hotline at one 888 846-0800 or email us at watersheds at sdcounty.ca.gov.